welcome back to our channel now we will just look into this lesson this is from unit 1 part c you all very well know about this lesson i will just give you line by line explanation so that you can find the meaning and you can just try to write the creative writings very effectively okay the lesson here is i will do it i will do it that means this is this shows self confidence at any cost i will do it this shows determination determination means strong will power at any cost i will do it whatever may be the situation i will do it i will do it at any situation at any circumstance that is what this lesson is all about here this lesson is about the great legend the great legend n r narayana murthy garu okay so firstly we will see the introduction from the beginning how the uh, life life span of mr narayana murthy was yeah let's go into the lesson he was short he was sharp sharp means very uh, intelligent he was the brightest boy in the class he was the um, very brilliant most brilliant boy in the class his seniors used to ask him to solve their difficulties in science so most of us we find science and maths difficult yeah some of the students seniors seniors means if he was in ninth they were in tenth maybe the seniors used to ask him doubts in uh, science he could have gone unnoticed in a crowd but once you asked him a question related to physics or maths there was a spark in his eyes so here narayan murthy was not uh, such an attractive boy or uh, he doesn't uh, um, he doesn't want uh, to be the center of attraction anyway he will be very simple and he will be sitting in a corner but when someone asks a question in physics or maths immediately he can't stop himself immediately he'll tell the answer that much fast he was in solving the uh, problems or solving the sums or uh, telling the answer so quick he was he could grasp theories of science faster than the speed of light he was very fast in grasping any new concept you give immediately he will grasp for us it will take one hour two hours or sometimes we we'll ask the teacher to explain again because we can't understand but he if you explain any new concept immediately he will grasp he will understand okay so he was so much interested in maths and uh, science okay then what happened he came from a poor but educated family so he, his family background we are uh, now looking at he was born in a poor but educated family his father was a high school teacher and an avid reader of english literature he like all the boys in his class was trying to get admission into some engineering college so here generally those uh, those days uh, whoever were intelligent who were very clever very brilliant what they used to do they used to uh, seek admission in the engineering college and he was much interested in maths and science naturally he would like to become an engineer and those days how it was is only government colleges were there if you write the entrance test and if you pass in that entrance test if you get a good rank then only you can do engineering suppose you don't get a good rank you are not selected into the engineering college there were no private colleges you should do graduation only you can't do engineering so that was the case those days okay so here he wanted to become an engineer to become engineer he should be selected to be selected he should get good marks to be to get good marks he should work hard okay so that is what was the criteria the brighter ones wanted to study in the in the indian institutes of technology or the iits now also you have the craze for the iit colleges those days also there was such craze for the iit colleges there was an entrance test for the iit this boy along with his friends applied to appear for the test they did not have any special books or coaching all these iit aspirants would sit below the shade of a stone mandap 
close to Chamundi Hills in the sleepy town of Mysore. He was a guide for the others. Guide means he used to guide all the others. Whenever they had a doubt, he used to clarify. Those days, no coaching centers were there. These boys only, they had the self-interest. They used to sit and they used to study. And whenever they got a doubt, the teacher won't be there near the house and all. So, they who used to clarify all the doubts? And uh, Narayana Murthy was very sharp, very shrewd, very intelligent. He used to clarify their doubts. While the others struggled to solve the problems in the question paper, he would smile shyly and solve them in no time. All the other boys used to struggle to solve those problems. But he used to immediately, quickly solve it because it was very easy for him. He could understand things very quickly. He sat alone below a tree and dreamt of studying in IIT. It was the ultimate aim for any bright boy at that age as it is still today. He was then only 16 years old. So, Narayana Murthy also had a dream. What was the dream? To study at IIT. So, did he sit simply and dream? No, he worked hard day and night. He worked. He used to solve all the problems and he used to work hard and he was aiming for the IIT. Then what happened? The D-Day came. D-Day means the most expected day. From so many days you are expecting for that day. The D-Day came. He came to Bangalore, stayed with some relatives and appeared for the entrance test. So he appeared for the entrance test for IIT. He did very well but would not uh, but would only say okay when asked. It was the opposite it, when it came to food. When he said okay, it implied bad. When he said good, it implied okay. When he said excellent, it implied good. His principle was never to hurt anyone. So, uh, he wrote the exam very well, the IIT entrance exam. Still, he didn't say I wrote very nicely. He said just okay. And then, uh, it was opposite when you came to food. Means if the food is okay, he would say good. If the food is uh, uh, good, he would say excellent. Okay, so he never wanted to hurt anyone. If the food is bad, if he say the food is bad, their feelings will be hurt. The one who cook with so much of efforts, isn't it? So he never said bad. He always said it is okay or good or excellent. So he was such an empathetic person. The IIT entrance results came. So after writing entrance, the IIT results came. He had passed with a high rank. Wow, he got a nice rank. What a delight. Delight means what a good news, happy news for any student. He was thrilled. He was very happy. He went to his father who was reading a newspaper. Now he went to his daddy to tell that he got a seat in IIT. And uh, he said, Anna, I, I have passed the exam. He went and told his daddy, Anna, I passed the exam. Well done, my boy. And then he said, the daddy congratulated Narayana Murthy. And then he said, I want to join IIT. He said that he wanted to join the IIT college. His father stopped reading the paper. He lifted his head, looked at the boy and said with a heavy voice. Heavy voice means sad voice. Okay. My son, you are a bright boy. You are a very intelligent boy. You know our financial position. You know our uh, financial position means what is the uh, financial money matters. How much salary, what is the income, what is the expense, all that you know. I have five daughters to be married off and three sons to educate. Now you see, I have five daughters and three sons to be uh, educated. I am a salaried person. I am not a businessman. My income is not so much. It is limited. Whatever salary they give, with that only our family has to live. We have to survive with that limited money only. I cannot afford your expenses at IIT. If you go to IIT, definitely the expenses will be more. You have to stay in a hostel, the fees, all this will be very high. You can stay in Mysore and study as much as you want. So look at the father. He was very straightforward. He told the reality uh, very clearly. He didn't um, polish or he didn't make any false promises also. The father said this is our financial position. Yeah, uh, this is highly impossible for me to send you to IIT. Whereas I can educate you as much as you want to study in Mysore. 
how much ever you study i will bear all the expenses he said okay and then what happened indeed indeed means definitely truly certainly indeed it was a difficult situation for any father to say no to his bride son yes it was very painful for nr narayana murthy's father to say no every father dreams of his son studying in great great colleges yes his father also had the great dream but what to do financial position was not good and then he said a no with a very painful heart but circumstances were like that it was common then for the man to be the single earning member with a large family dependent on him on in those days there were big families many children and only the father used to earn so it the financial position was very uh, difficult to those days his father was sad that he had to tell the bitter truth to his son but it could not be helped the boy had to understand reality the father felt sad for uh, denying for refusing uh, uh, to educate him in iit but nothing could be done it has to be told and then the teenager was disappointed who is a teenager yes who is a teenager narayana murthy who is a teenager uh, yes the teenager was disappointed uh, it seemed his dreams had burned to ashes that means all the dreams became nothing all burnt he was so near to fulfilling his fondest hope yet so far so all these days whenever he was in school all all others might be playing he was only solving problems others may be enjoying he was sitting and studying maths and physics every time only one dream was there getting a seat in iit from childhood he is uh, uh, putting all the efforts and ultimately he got a seat but unfortunately he could not go unluckily he could not go so this was very terrible very difficult for him also to digest and then what he did uh, he was no he, he did not reply he did not uh, uh, speak loudly or he did not uh, go against his father he did not speak angrily he did not tell any reply he never shared his unhappiness or helplessness with anybody he was an introvert by nature he was a silent person he never went and shared all his feelings with anyone so he was very silent how much ever sad he was he silently took the sadness in his heart his heart was his heart was bleeding but he did not get angry with anybody he did not get angry with his father he was actually very happy that he had such a nice father who is telling him the facts and who is uh, promising to educate him so he did not get angry with his father also and then the day came which day when uh, all the people who got seat in iit they are all going to chennai okay his classmates were leaving for madras that is chennai they were taking a train from mysore to madras they have shared good years in school and college together he went to the station to say goodbye and good luck to them for their future life so here all um, the friends who all uh, uh, may solve problems and uh, who all studied with him uh, those who practiced all the sums and all under the tree and they all some of them got the seat in iit and some of them were going to the uh, going to the college that is they were all uh, going to chennai okay and uh, as uh, nr murthy was a close friend all these years he wanted to uh, go and say goodbye as a courtesy friendship okay and then at the station his friends were already there they were excited and talking loudly the noise was like the chirping of the birds all the friends were very happy because they are going to uh, realize their dream whole life they struggled for getting a seat now their dream has come true they were very excited for about the college they were all excited and discussing the new hostels new courses etc he was not a part of it but uh, nr murthy is not going to join so he is not part of the discussion so he stood there silently one of them noticed and said you should have made it so one of his friends said you clarified all our doubts you should have uh, got a seat in iit what is this narayan murthy like that one of them told 
he did not reply but he didn't say that yes i also got a seat only uh, because of our financial problem i did not go he did not say anything like that okay he did not want to uh, share all those things with anyone he just kept quiet he didn't reply he only wished all of them he with a good heart wished that everyone should be successful in their life they waved at him as the train slowly left the platform they all said goodbye and all his friends went off he stood there even after he could no longer see the train or the waving hands it was a june of 1962 in mysore city monsoon had set in and it was getting dark it had started to drizzle it started raining yet he stood there motionless he didn't move he was there completely uh, in the thoughts was feeling very sad that he could not go along with his friends he said to himself without anger or jealousy all students from the iit study well and do big things in life but it is not the institution ultimately it is you and you alone who can change your life by hard work this is called self motivation he said to himself yes it is true if anyone gets a seat in iit they go and study there they go and learn many things they get a good job they achieve great success but it is not the institution it is i who has to work hard and achieve success in my life through hard work probably probably means maybe probably he was not aware that he was following the philosophy of bhagavad gita your best friend is yourself and your worst enemy is yourself yeah he was following the principle of bhagavad he did not know the principle but he was unknowingly following it later he worked very hard and focused on one thing never bothering about his personal life or comforts he shared his wealth with others he never used the help of any caste community or political connections to go up in a life he never thought about personal comforts he worked very very hard and when he became rich he earned lot of money he gave it to the people who needed it to bring out their talents he shared his wealth with others a son of a school teacher showed other indians it was possible to earn wealth legally and ethically so he proved to the whole world that it is possible to earn money uh, it is not necessary that we should go to illegal means to earn money yeah, money can be earned legally also he built a team of people who were equally good he made a team who were as hard working as him he became a pioneer pioneer means the first person to do yeah he became a pioneer of india software industry and started the information technology wave he made the he started the it wave in india today has become an icon icon means symbol today has become an icon of simplicity uncompromising quality and fairness fairness means no partiality and always honest no compromise in standards okay apart from being a philanthropist philanthropist means one who does Uh, good for the welfare of others donations charity works those are called as philanthropic people who do charity work and uh, do good for the society are called philanthropists yeah he is a philanthropist he really believes in the motto powered by intellect and driven by values he had one motto in life what is that powered his power is completely in his brain how much knowledge we earn that is our power and when we are going we should never go into immoral base we should always go in the moral values we should catch he is none other than nagavara rama rao narayana murthy the founder of infosys a leading it company in the world he is none other than nr narayana murthy the author of this lesson is his wife Sudha Murthy she too is a philanthropist a great a writer a person full of energy and confidence yeah and uh, she inspires many women all around not only that she has even uh, um, taken efforts to bring 
great changes in uh, people's uh, life the people who need so much maybe in the education field in the women empowerment many ways she has done a great deal to this society hope we to do something for this society for our country and be citizens of whom our mother india will be uh, proud of hope this explanation was useful to you share this video with your friends so that they can also understand the story and they can also attend the creative writings easily and from this lesson you may get the conversation an imaginary conversation between nr murthy and his father i have already prepared the video on that if you want i will share the link in the description and there is a playlist of all the creative writings just refer them once before you go for your exams and you may also get the uh, diary entry of nr murthy once uh, uh, he could not go to iit how did he feel what were his feelings that can also uh, be a creative writing that also i have prepared already just go through that once you will get the hints what feelings emotions how to express them and uh, in a uh, diary entry of nr murthy's father how the father felt when he had to say a no to the bright child his child has got a seat at that time he has to so say no how did he feel that also i have prepared a, a creative writing uh, look uh, you can go into the channel Uh, there you can press the playlist and below that you will have 10th class or 8th 9th everything is there uh, 8th 9th and 10th are there go to 10th class unit 1 in that you will find the lesson summaries question and answers also question and answer also i have made it short very brief so that it is easy for you to write read revise for your exams just go through all those uh, videos okay there is a lot of hard work which goes in for preparing this video all uh, all the love for you is what pushes me to do all these videos i take extra efforts after my uh, hard work throughout the day hope this effort this small effort gives uh, a bit of encouragement for you to do to learn english to uh, to great make improvements in your communication skills thank you for watching and uh, do subscribe our channel and click the uh, bell icon i will be uploading the uh, unit 2 in the next week um, yes see you again in the next video if you have any um, doubts kindly of text me in the uh, comment section i will definitely clarify them if you have any uh, doubts regarding the question paper pattern in this uh, we, in this uh, channel in our channel i have uh, made a playlist of the very recent question papers also please refer them thank you for watching and wish you all the best thank you once again